What's going on Chemical Guys family? Thanks so much for tuning in for today's episode of Detail Garage. Summer's here, which means we've got warmer weather, harsher UV rays, we're gonna be outdoors more often. So now we're gonna go over the process of protecting your vehicle so that you can protect all of your vinyl, rubber, plastics, as well as your fabric for as long as possible. So this Nissan Sentra, like I said, is going to be exposed to those harsh elements as well as the hard UV rays that are going to be coming with the summer months. So we want to protect it as well as enhance it. So starting off, we're going to work away from the windshield back and the dashboard is an area where it's going to collect a lot of dust and fingerprints. So what we're going to use today is Interclean. And this is an interior quick detail spray, safe for your vinyl, rubber, plastics, your navigation screen, as well as your leather. And all you have to do is simply spray it directly onto a towel to control some overspray. I know a lot of guys will spray things such as interior quick detail sprays directly onto the surface, but that makes a big mess. So instead we're going to spray the towel and we're just going to start wiping the dash. And this will help clean away any dust or any fingerprints or even any kind of spills that happen inside of the vehicle while also adding a UV blocker, but it's not going to change the sheen. So on the area like the dashboard, this is where we don't want to have something that's going to glare or add a really significant gloss. But if you're looking to add more protection, you can always choose a product that's water-based, such as Silk Shine, which we're going to be using today to add even more protection, as well as enhance some of that shine. But you can just see that light layer of dirt and debris, just from daily driving with your windows down, all that stuff collects onto the dashboard, on the steering wheel, as well as the center console. And Interclean is a great way to pick all that kind of stuff up while adding that kind of protection. But most importantly, it's not going to add a sticky finish, and it's not going to add any kind of sheen or change the shine. It just simply picks it up and protects the surface. What's also great about Interclean is that you can use it to touch up your interior control surfaces such as your steering wheel or your shift console. These are areas where grease or germs and nasty buildup happens so this will just keep it looking its best for as long as possible. And again it's going to leave a dry to the touch finish so it's not going to be slippery where it could cause a dangerous situation. But it'll just simply clean it and protect it in one step. You can see all that kind of stuff. This is just your body oils or makeup or sunscreen, things that are going to be collecting on your hands and then transferred over to the surface. We want to remove all that so it doesn't damage it. But the reason why we're doing this is because, again, summer's here, which means it's going to be warmer, and we're also going to be outside enjoying our vehicles. But while we are out enjoying, say, the beach or the park, our cars are parked with the windows up, and it gets incredibly hot inside of the vehicle. You can imagine if it's 80 degrees outside, it's going to be at least 30 to 40 degrees hotter inside of the vehicle, which is why it's so important to protect it. Because as the UV rays come inside of the vehicle, think of it as like a greenhouse where now all those UV rays are trapped inside of here and all that heat starts bouncing around and that'll start damaging and discoloring your dashboard, your vinyl, your door panels, such as like in my S10 where over the years of not being treated and also just being a work truck in general, it started to deteriorate and also to fade out the plastics and vinyl which is why it's so important to protect it with either a dressing or you can use some kind of dash pad where the UV rays that land on the horizontal surfaces aren't going to penetrate and also start deteriorating the finish. But what we're gonna do for this Nissan is now that it's clean, we're going to move on to the protection stage using Silk Shine, which is a water-based dressing that's safe for your interior and exterior vinyl, rubber, and plastic. Start by shaking up the bottle. We're just going to spray it onto one of our blue applicator pads, which is microfiber, so it's easy to use. It also spreads a very fine coat of your dressing without absorbing it, and it's also easy to clean. And again, to control any overspray, we're just going to directly spray it into the applicator so we're not making a mess to have to clean up. And you can blotch it out or just start simply working it into the surface. But on dry surfaces such as dry plastics or vinyl, it's going to quickly absorb any of the dressing. It's looking for those nutrients. So if need be, you can also apply multiple coats. This way you can get a uniform shine or a sheen. But again, adding more protection is best because as these surfaces heat up, they'll expand and contract as they cool, and that's what causes the cracking. So you want to be sure to protect it so it'll last as long as possible. Now I'm using a cross-hatching pattern just to ensure that there's no high spots or missed areas. But you can see there's already a huge difference from before how it looked with this kind of matte dull sheen and now you've got this glossier effect. But to prevent any kind of glare what I'm going to do now is just take a clean microfiber towel and we'll wipe off the excess. And this is great for just ensuring that we're not leaving any high spots or any kind of missed areas. But it'll give it more of a, a natural look because me personally I don't like that glossier finish but I know a lot of guys do like to add some kind of interior shine or enhance the look of their vehicle by adding dressings to the dashboard as well as door panels and the seats. 
but now it has a nice cool crisp finish it's protected and it's going to be dry to the touch so now it's not going to collect dust it's not going to be a greasier surface where it's going to look all nasty and it's also not going to start deteriorating so now i'm going to work my way around the rest of the vehicle we also have the door panels as well as center console to detail and then we're going to move on to the fabric surfaces to help protect those as well <music> So we've just finished cleaning and protecting all the vinyl, rubber, and plastic surfaces around the Nissan. An area I forgot to mention is you can also clean and protect your door seals, which is an area that over time will start drying out and fading and also cracking. So by adding a protectant such as silk shine, that's not only going to add depth and gloss, but it's also going to add nutrients that protect the surface to add some longevity. But now we're moving on to the fabric as well as the carpet, which we're going to start by cleaning with Fabric Clean, which we've diluted 8 to 1 in our spray bottle here. And you can spray directly onto the surface, but to avoid heavily saturating the surface because it's not very dirty, but we want to make sure that's really clean before we do any kind of protecting. We're going to use a nifty brush, which I also have a yellow micro towel wrapped around. And this is going to help transferring any kind of contamination from the bristles of the brush to the surface. But it'll also show you all the kind of grime that we're pulling out. Just a light mist, we're going to start scrubbing. This is an old trick that I use, especially on sensitive materials so that we're not damaging any kind of fibers. Essentially, you're just using the brush as leverage and the towel is what's going to be doing the scrubbing. And you're just working the cleaner so that it does all the work. It'll lift off any kind of stubborn staining, any kind of odors. But more importantly, this is prepping the surface for the protection stage. Because just like the dashboard and the door seals and also the door panels, the seats are also exposed to UV rays that cause it to discolor and it also starts to fade and also dries out the vinyl or the fabric that it's made out of and that causes it to start deteriorating and over time you'll start to see the threads loosen and also starts to tear and crack but that's more of a wear and tear deal but by cleaning it and also protecting it routinely this is going to help it last as long as possible. Now you can use the same technique as well as the same product on your carpets. Areas that are high traffic especially are the driver's side footwell. So you saw that I vacuumed it just to remove any of the heavier debris, any kind of buildup. And the owner of this has a dog, so there's a lot of pet hair. Vacuuming it and also using a nifty brush to help lift up those fibers will help to remove those pet hairs or any kind of pesky stains really easily. This way you're not fighting or constantly going over it. But having the right tool for the job is going to make it a lot easier. It also looks more professional and also saves you a lot of time. So now while the seat is drying, we're going to move on to the carpet and the floor mats. And we're going to use the same process where we have a nifty brush that's wrapped with a clean yellow workhorse microfiber towel. Using our diluted fabric clean, which is going to lift up any of the stains or any kind of grease from the floor mats. We'll also remove any kind of odors. And what's also great is that it's a citrus base, so it has a great scent. And it's not using any kind of harsh chemicals, so it doesn't have that really musky odor. It just gently removes any kind of messes and stains and odors to revive a factory finish. And you also don't need to use this with an extractor. You can simply use hand tools and this will gently remove any kind of messes and revive that natural look. Now, after letting the fabric surfaces dry for about 30 minutes, we're going to move on to the protection stage using our brand new product, Hydro Thread. And what this does is it adds a hydrophobic barrier against water droplets, spills of any kind, whether that's going to be soda, juice, coffee, and it also helps to repel any kind of UV rays that damage or discolor the surface. You can also spray it on your seats, starting at your headrest to the back portion, as well as the seat pan, and just let that dry. There's no need to come back with the towel and buff off any of the excess. It'll simply start bonding directly to the surface at the molecular level. And again, this is going to give you that super hydrophobic property to help repel any kind of stains, any kind of spills. So you don't have to worry about any kind of messes inside of the car as you're eating. And it's also going to repel any of those harsh UV rays like we were talking about earlier with these summer months coming up where it's going to be outside a lot, it's going to be enjoyed, and you don't want to worry about any kind of discoloring or fading. That's why you simply want to protect it using Hydro Thread. So guys, if you want to check out any of these products, head over to our website, chemicalguys.com or your local detail garage. 
If you like today's video, or if you just want to learn more about our products, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and drop your comments down below for future videos. And we'll see you guys next time right here in the Detail Garage.